today we'll talk about antiseptics and disinfectants antiseptics and disinfectants what are the antiseptics and disinfectants we'll take one by one first of all they are the chemicals they are the chemicals which either kill they either kill or prevent the growth of microorganisms the organisms which causes diseases right so antiseptics they are applied to the living tissues very important word they are applied to the living tissues such as wounds cuts and ulcers right example is furacin and soframycin commonly used antiseptic is detol which you use at your home also right and what is a detol detol is a mixture of chloro xylenol and terpenol very important these two words which you need to remember because it can be asked in the exam what is detol it is an antiseptic it is a mixture of chloro xylenol and terpenol right now the another one is pithneol it is added to soaps the soaps which you used right daily they they have also antiseptics in them which impart antiseptic properties right for example iodine is also powerful antiseptic its 2 3% solution in alcohol water mixture is known as tincture of iodine this is always asked in example what is tincture of iodine so what is the tincture of iodine it is 2 to 3% solution in alcohol water mixture right so always remember what is tincture of iodine now the next one which we are talking about that is the disinfectants they are applied to inanimate objects such as floors drainage systems instruments etc you must have seen the advertisements related to it like um, disinfectants for example 0.2% solution of phenol is an antiseptic while its 1% solution is disinfectant i repeat again 0.2 solution of phenol is an antiseptic means it is an antiseptic while it's 1% if it is 0.2% it is antiseptic but if it is 1% of phenol then it will become disinfectant means it can be applied on the living tissues but it can be applied on the non living things right anti fertility drugs very very important what are anti fertility drugs to put a control on increased population we used anti fertility drugs that lead to the concept of family planning right so birth control pills essentially contains a mixture of synthetic estrogen which is a hormone and progesterone derivatives so what are the two important words which are coming here that is estrogen and progesterone right they are the what they are birth controlling pills for example norethindrone is an example of synthetic progesterone synthetic progesterone is anti fertility drug it is anti fertility drug and this is always asked in the exam this is always asked in the exam you need to be very very careful when you talk about anti fertility drug so the next one is the estrogen derivatives the estrogen derivative which is used in combination with progesterone derivative is ethinyl estradiol that is known as novastrol it comes in the one mark exam in one mark question that what is novastrol novastrol is a combination with progesterone it is a estrogen derivative which is used in combination with progesterone and it is a derivative of ethanyl estradiol estradiol which is commonly known as novastrol right now the next one is chemicals in food chemicals in food food additives such as preservatives sweetening agents flavors antioxidants edible colors and nutritional supplements are added to the food to make it attractive palatable palatable means means tasty and add nutritive value so these things what do they do they 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 make the things very attractive palatable it means tasty and nutritive also preservatives are added to the food to prevent spoilage it means you can uh, shelf you can increase the shelf life of anything due to microbial attack right artificial sweeteners are used by those who need to check the caloric the calorie intake or are diabetic and want to avoid taking 
sucrose so artificial sweetness is always added so, so let us suppose somebody is having diabetes but they cannot take the sugar but artificial sugar is like the one which maintains the sugar level in the diabetic patient, patient so that they can have this sweets and all now aspartame what is aspartame this comes in the one mark definition it is the most successful and widely used artificial sweetener artificial sweetener so aspartame is an artificial sweetener it is roughly 100 times as sweet as cane sugar so it is very very sweet in taste it is methyl ester of dipeptide formed from aspartic acid and phenyl alanine these two words you need to remember it is the ester formation or the dipeptide form from aspartic acid and phenyl alanine now the next term is alitame it is a highly potency sweetener again a sweetener it is more stable than aspartame it is more stable than this it control the sweetness of food is difficult while using it very important it is more stable it's more stable than this aspartame right the next one is sucralose sucralose next one sucralose what is sucralose it is a trichloro derivative of sucrose it its appearance and taste are like sugar only it is stable at cooking temperature means it can bear the heat it does not provide calories so it means if you are taking anything sugary and it does not provide calories it means you can take it so it is sucralose with this thank you so much